Kobako Hospital has catchment area of 59,000 people. On average, 75 deliveries are conducted per week. The hospital has 21 midwives, each working a shift where they receive expectant mothers, deliver them, treat and monitor post-operation conditions. The facility also has five medical doctors but no gynecologist. Mariam Otoko, a caretaker, brought her daughter to deliver at Koboko Hospital. She had spent three days at the facility but says the weekends are nightmare with no proper attention from medical officers. She said many mothers are referred to nearby facilities. They say this is a hospital but we are facing a lot of challenges. They Last week, the hospital registered three maternal deaths in four days, something that was blamed on lack of monitoring and shortage of blood at the facility. We came here last Thursday. The issue started on Tuesday last week up to date. Mothers who approached here for delivery end up losing their lives. Uh, in the last one week, actually, uh, we lost about uh, three mothers. Uh, one of the deaths was uh, almost inevitable because uh, the mother overbled. Uh, it was it was what we call a ruptured ectopic. Uh, second mother, that was the first one died actually on Monday night, like around midnight. Uh, the second mother died on Tuesday. Uh, it was because of uh, a postpartum hemorrhage uh, and the third one happened on Thursday it was also uh, uh, the mother was taken to theater in the morning around 7 30 uh, operation was done but I think uh, probably there was a, a bleeder that was not recognized during the operation but the recent incident which occurred was the, as a result of lack of blood. Dr. Jimmy Mongunira, the hospital's medical superintendent, says few health workers cannot handle the huge population and two facilities at the same time. The 21 midwives conduct 3,600 deliveries per year and an average of 300 per month. Now, when you have one midwife working, this midwife needs to conduct deliveries this midwife needs to receive new uh, mothers and assess them he has asked the government to address the huge human resource gap we don't have a gynecologist we used to have but he, he resigned early last year we have uh, three medical doctors in koboko and you can, you can imagine handling a population of 314 thousand people so, Dr. Musa Noah, the Member of Parliament for Koboko North Constituency, has challenged the Minister of Public Service to lift its ban on recruitment of workers across the country. Koboko is not the only hospital facing staffing gap challenges. Many have experienced this as well. However, for a facility to provide adequate health services, government must ensure that it commits to bigger budgets that can be able to serve the population. Rashula did. NTV Weekend Edition.